Hi, I'm Candace Cooper, and I am your reading coach for Are You Ready for College? A little bit about me. I got started teaching developmental reading straight out of college. I mean, the truth of the matter is, is that um, I was ready to start my career as an English professor, thinking that I was going to, you know, go to graduate school and get everything together and, and, and just start teaching English. And, uh, and instead, I graduated from college and the first job they gave me was a graduate assistantship and it was to teach developmental reading. I struggled with this because mainly I didn't know that college students struggled to read. I was so naive uh, to think that every single college student already had the tools needed to read and study and do well in school. You see, I shouldn't have been as naive because my freshman year in college, uh, I had no idea how to read a textbook. I graduated from high school uh, with honors. I was an athlete. Uh, you know, I got into the first school I applied to, University of Houston. They took me as a journalism major. Uh, I'd gotten perfect scores for the most part uh, on my reading exams up until that point. You know, so I thought that if anyone was a really good reader, it was me. However, my first year in school, I mean, I struggled in history. I studied, I struggled in psychology, sociology, all those reading heavy classes. I really didn't do well. Uh, surprisingly, the only classes I did do well in my entire uh, college career were English classes and, and English classes where I was looking at literature, or I was looking at writing, um, but I, I was not very good at any class that required a textbook um, so, or, or a true textbook. And so um, you can imagine how surprised I was when I graduated from a U of H and I got my first job uh, in graduate school as a graduate assistant. I'm thinking that because I'm an English major, I'm gonna be you know, teaching English composition to freshmen uh, the same way that, you know, that I encountered English composition uh, from a TA. And to my surprise, they handed me uh, a developmental reading textbook two weeks before school started and said, you'll be teaching developmental reading to incoming freshmen. Now the surprise uh, for me was that they had a class called developmental reading for incoming freshmen. Uh, I just assumed that everyone who graduated from college knew how to read and that they were on top of things. And I just so happened to, uh, you know, not been on top of things. I, you know, I thought horrible things about myself. I thought I was a slacker. I thought that, you know, I wasn't very smart. I thought that I just didn't know how to pass tests really well. I mean, I had these horrible thoughts about myself as a freshman. Uh, and, and so these students who'd be coming into my classroom, I really felt ill-equipped to truly help them uh, become better readers because no one really taught me how to read. Uh, after elementary school, it was just kind of something I knew how to do. So I was at a crossroads. I wasn't sure about if I was the best person to do this, nor was I sure about it. They really needed a class called developmental reading. Uh, long story short, I opened the textbook when I got home and on the textbook um, table of contents, the first thing I see uh, is this, is this uh, I idea called SQ3R, survey, question, read, recite, and review. Um, and I'm thinking, okay, cool, this is what I have to teach in two weeks, I probably should learn it. And as I started going through SQ3R and thinking about this concept of scanning and questioning and, you know, reviewing what you've read and all of these different things that are part of the reading process, I felt gypped. I felt like had I known this when I was in school, then I probably wouldn't have struggled in the way that I struggled uh, my first two years and, and I wouldn't have crashed my GPA you know, down into the rocks uh, and, and, and have to fight for two to three years just to be able to pull it back up to something that was somewhat respectable. You know, and, and I wouldn't have had to go through this thought process of thinking I wasn't enough uh, to do well in school, all the low uh, thoughts that, you know, students generally have about themselves when they don't do well on exams or they don't get good grades right away. Uh, I wouldn't have gone through all this emotional trauma about if I was good enough for school and if I was really ready to be in college. And so uh, on one hand, teaching that developmental reading class, I thought was, you know, something that well, I was ill-equipped to do. On the other hand, once I got in there and once I started teaching the students and, 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 and explaining to them my honest to God stories about being in college and not really knowing what to do with those textbooks, uh, being able to do that for them, uh, and meet them where they were uh, so that we could connect, then I finally started understanding about 
the necessity of knowing how to read a college textbook before you get to school. You really got to have a system down because if not, if you go in there with the same thing that you were doing in high school that probably got you by, you get to college, it catches you and you get caught in the crosshairs of it and it's hard to get out, especially if your GPA starts tanking. Because if your GPA tanks, so does your self-esteem, so does your, your ability to connect in organizations on college, you know, in a sorority, you know, we had to keep a certain GPA. One semester I didn't, and it made me feel really bad uh, because I couldn't really participate in a sorority anymore. The girls were looking at me weird and funny, and it, it was just all unnecessary. Had I learned how to study and how to do well in those classes, then I wouldn't have had to deal with a lot of the anguish and stress uh, and frustration that I dealt with. Uh, on the other hand, you know, it's a blessing and a curse, you know. Uh, it has now made me uh, more passionate about making sure that students know when they get to school what to do with their textbooks in order to read and be able to pass those exams and do well uh, because you don't go to college to pay all that money to fail. You go to college. If you're going to make that investment, then you need to get a good uh, response from it. And so we're going to work on uh, teaching you uh, how to read and be prepared for college. Uh, we're going to use my technique called real pre-reading skills. We're going to look at what does that REAL stand for and how does it work. We're going to look at the clean method for active reading. And we're going to think about how do we actively read and have a clean understanding of exactly what's going on in the process of actively engaging a text as we read it. Then we're going to look at the post-reading process, uh, which I call uh, getting the most out of what you read the most. So we're going to look at what MOST means as it relates to thinking about what you've read, being able to recall it in a way that will give you results when it's time for you to take your exam or give you results in terms of understanding a baseline knowledge of information so that you can continue to grow in your field. All right, so without further ado, let's get started uh, looking at uh, if you're ready for college and asking yourself the important questions to make sure that you are. All right, see you in a second. 